Hello and welcome to my channel. Today I'm top dressing nitrogen on some hay fields. And if you are not doing this, you're going to change your tune after this video. Today I've got 2,100 pounds of treated urea in here. That is 46% nitrogen. So that means for every 100 pounds of urea we apply to the field, there is 46 pounds of nitrogen to that. Today we are applying 46 pounds, I'm sorry, today we are applying 100 pounds per acre, so there's gonna be 46 pounds of actual nitrogen per acre. This urea is treated, so that means it has this little blue coating on it. The benefit of treated urea is it makes it more stable against volatilization in uh, hot weather and lack of rain. So you really need the rain after this to push uh, that urea to melt it into the ground, to dissolve it into the ground, I should say, and get that nitrogen to the root. If you don't get rain in enough time or if it's also too hot, you actually lose nitrogen to the air. That's called denitrification or volatilization. And that results in less nitrogen output from your urea. The other nice thing that treated urea does is it provides a slow release of the nitrogen and uh, dissolution of the urea pellet in the soil. This is beneficial because if you get a huge deluge of rain after putting the, the urea down, it doesn't just flush all the nitrogen way deep into the soil beyond the root zone. So ideally you want about a nice quarter inch soaker of rain after uh, you put urea down. I do urea within one to two days of seeing a rain. We're supposed to get a whole bunch of rain tomorrow, so I'm doing it today. We are in drought conditions right now. We've got a couple inches of rain in the last few weeks, but the grass is stalled out. The fields are growing, but I'm hoping I can get a much needed boost today from 100 pounds of uh, urea per acre. So we're gonna find out. So earlier this year, I made a video called making the nicest first cut hay I've ever made on what I consider my flagship field. This is that field today. Let's just take a look at the ground and the soil so we can see where we're at. Um, right now, you know, the grass is about as tall as uh, my pinky to my thumb. In a few spots, it's a little taller. But on average, I'd say probably eight inches. We're gonna come back in a couple weeks and see how this is doing after we get this nitrogen on there. My uh, urea had a specific gravity of 46, so I'm just gonna use the 45. I wanna put it on 100 pounds per acre, so that's gonna be a gate opening of about two and a quarter. So that's where I got my gate set. Ground driven, so engaging the ground sprockets. I'm taking a gamble today. I've got 700 some dollars worth of urea and I hope the grass is not stalled out. I hope it responds to this nitrogen well because I really need it. Um, so, see how this thing goes. We're going six miles an hour today. It is now July 30th. The last video you just saw was July 11th, so it is now just about three weeks to the day. And I am getting ready to mow today, and we have had some superb growth on this field, facilitated by the nitrogen for sure. Now, we've also been getting a lot of rain, but over here is where I was looking at some of the length of our grass. And recall, it was just to the top of my thumb at the time. And now look at what we're doing. See how 
Talak came in. That looks great. And um, unfortunately, despite the fact that I am a scientist by day, hence the name of this channel, I do not have a control condition for you as I did not want to leave any part of the field unfertilized. So we cannot see what an un, uh, unnitrogenated part of this field would look like, so to speak. But, more good tall grass. I've done this before and the difference is astounding when I have had parts of the field that did not receive nitrogen. So I can tell you, despite the fact that we don't have any parts of this field that did not receive nitrogen, they would be, uh, the grass there would be much shorter than everything else. It truly is a needed investment. You gotta do it, it'll get you your yield back. Um, I think I calculated it costs about 33 bucks an acre for me. That means I just need to make another five bales per acre to cover that cost. And we're gonna see if I'm able to get that yield out of that field. I'm gonna mow it today. Let's find out. So this is the second field that I had put nitrogen on the same time I did the first one I showed you. And this is actually third cut. Look how tall this is, that's crazy. very thick after i took that second cut off this just grew back in i think we're at about four weeks here so that nitrogen is worth every uh pound of its weight in gold that's for sure it will really get your money back and get you more uh yield to your hay it's totally worth every dollar i promise 